All right, since you guys are all here, ready to go and paying attention, Karen, how do you tell me that you're ready? Put your earbuds away, please. All right, so let's see. So, you ready? You ready? Yes. All right, class. Yes. Okay. Karen. Can I get a yes? Okay, good. All right, so we're going to go through this and a uh, page in my notebook. What page should I be on here? 57. 50 what? 57. 57. Oh, 57. Yes, he doesn't understand English, so it's okay. Mm -hmm. So we, we, we let him slide around. All right, so today we're dealing with 30, 60, 90 triangles. Like the triangles we had yesterday, those were 45, 45, 90. Today it's 30, 60, 90. So there is a different formula to go along with because we had the n, the n, and n squared of 2. <coughs> Today, on your notes, you're going to write this one here. So, you're drawing this one because it's going to be important. Make it nice and big so you can see it later. Yeah. What is that? Two what? This right here oh. or this? The one that says two. What? Two in. Uh, the hypotenuse? The hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is two in. Yeah. So, it goes n, two n, and then n times square root of three. <clears throat> Do we have this on the NWA test? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Can we have open? <laughs> I, no, I don't think so. You want to turn the volume down on the, oh. Is your music still playing? <laughs> Sorry. But that will mess up. That will, like I'm gonna get a strike on my on my on my YouTube account. <laughs> what was it anyway? Yeah, some narcos, so some like gangster rap. <clears throat> All right, so now let's go through this. It says n, two n, and n times square root of three. So for those people following along, paying attention would not be someone in here. Okay, so if you look what's given right here, you have to adjust this triangle. I need to adjust the triangle. So now this side over here, in between the 90 and the 60, that one, 48 right there, is gonna represent which one? Is it gonna be the n, the n squared of three, or the two n? That one's just gonna be the n, because if you notice in between the 60 and the 90, down here, that one's just going to be n, right? Yeah. So that side's going to be n. This side over here, the hypotenuse is going to be 2n. And over here, this is going to be n times square root of 3. So do we know what n is? No. Yes. So n is going to be 48. So to figure out over here, this is my 2n, right? Yeah. So I'm going to do to get x equals 2 times 48, which is x is 96. Does that make sense or is that nonsense? Yeah, you're going to pull out your phone and look at social media again? Oh, okay, you're doing it right there? Okay. I know, right? He's, he's looking at his Instagram right now. Kind of like you. So, let's try these out then. Let's see if you guys got this. Mr. X 
What's 48? Forty-eight. 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 Times two. Yeah. Is ninety-six. Anyway, all right. You guys are doing one, two, and three. Yeah. I put it there. staring at this should be doing these that we just went over. Let's take a look at our first one here. So, let's look. I'm going to go through and identify the size that's given to me. This one is n. So this one is 2n. So x equals 30. This one over here, n. This side over here is the 2n. So x equals 4. This side right over here is my n. This side is the 2n. So x equals 100. All right, we ready? the length of a leg. Now, the location of each one of these tells me what I'm going to use for each one. So, this one right here, again, I will write this out. This is my 60, 90, 30, and n times square root of 3, and 2n. 
So I'm going to go through and identify each one of these in my first one here. So right triangle, uh, the length of the longer leg is given. Find the length of the shorter leg. Round your answer to the nearest tenth. So what we're going to do, this is going to be my n. This one is going to be n times square root of 3. And this one's going to be 2 n. Now I'm going to do. I'm going to set it up the same way we did last time. So we're still trying to figure this out. So when we did this yesterday, I took this value right here, which is n times square root of three, is equal to nine, right? I'm going to do that one here. So for part a, I'm going to do here. So n times square root of three is equal to nine. I want to know what n is because that's the piece I'm looking for, right? Yeah. What would I do to undo that multiplication? Uh, yes, I'm going to divide. I'm going to divide both sides by square root of 3. Okay, got to say the whole thing, the square root of 3. So let's do that. And I'm going to put it in my handy dandy calculator. And it is going to be 9 divided by square root of 3, just like this. And so my calculator will do the simplification of radicals for you. So my answer, my exact answer, is going to be 3 square root of 3. But this one asks for an approximation rounded to the what? 5.2 rounded to the tenth. So let's go back to this right here. So 3 red 3 and it should be about one in a different color. So for part B, I'm going to do the same thing by going through and identifying which sides I have. This one right here is going to be n. This one over here is n times square root of 3. And this one over here is 2n. Now, this one right here says, triangle of right, the length of the shorter leg is given. Find the length of the longer leg. Why? Round your answer to the nearest tenth. So, do we know what n is? Oh, yeah. yeah, n's going to be eight. 8. And so to figure out this side over here where y is, I would do 8 times square root of 3, right? Yeah. So 8 square root of 3. So just, I can plug that in as is and say it's 8 square root of 3, and then let my calculator do the math. Eight square root 3. My calculator says it is going to be 13.9. 13.9. sense because you are going to do this one right here. Four, five, six, and this is going to be the last ones that we're doing today. So four, five, six right now, please.
No, 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 no. This one is, so if you do n, this one's n, right? This one's n square root of 3. So you're going to do this one right here like we did this one here. I think I might have given my last one away yesterday. Oh, ah. there was one. Oh. Alrighty, let's look to see. So first thing I'm gonna do is identify all my sides. So identify the sides. This side right here is going to be n between the 60 and 90 is always n. This one's going to be n times square root of 3. And this one is 2n. 2n. And so if I'm looking right here, given this side right here, okay, I need to try and get n by itself, right? But this side says my n square root of 3 is equal to 22. n square root of 3 equals 22. Divide by square root of 3. And that's going to give me... 12.7. Was it? 12.7. This guy says 12.7. You say 12.7? He says 12.7. Yes? So, let's see. So, 22 divided by radical 3. Yep, 12.7. All right, this next one. This is going to be n. This one is n times square root of 3. And this one is 2n. So, if you look right here, I could do the same thing I just did that last one. 18 square root of 3 is equal to n square root of 3. If I wanted to get my n by itself, what would I do? Divide, Divide by red 3. And so my n is just 18. 18. So, right here, x equals... 18. So that one hopefully was a lot easier. Now this one right here, this one's n. Oh. n, n times square root of 3, and then 2n. So for this one, I know what my n is, I just need to multiply by square root of 3. So, square root of 3 times square root of 3, which is just going to give me 3. So we have that x is equal to 3. Yes, no, maybe? No? You don't like that one? Why? It's just 18, right? Yeah, you could just pick that out. Yeah, I did the math for it, but yes, you can just pick it out because it's already n, so it's 18 times square root of 3. So yeah, you could have just picked out the 18. All right, that being said, we're going to finish this up tomorrow. So start on your homework or finish up yesterday's homework. But on that, everyone's going to like, share, and subscribe.